what, what the mate is talking about. There's been a whole lot of racism and hate going on in America. I mean, America was founded on racism, founded on hate. But it's like, at some point, you would think that America would just get her act together because societies are supposed to go forward, not backwards. And it just seems like for every two steps America takes, it takes another three backwards in regards to race. This is just a very hateful ass country. Um, so y'all know all, y'all been hearing about all the incidents of hate going on. You know, you got students painting their faces black, you know, asking people out to prom with a black face. You find the nooses at museums, black uh, uh, African-American museums. You got a college student that got stabbed to death at a bus stop just because he was black by a white nationalist in Maryland. You got LeBron James getting the N-word uh, graffitied on his house in California. You got the idiot nationalist in Portland who stabbed up a couple of people and wounded some other people all because they was not white and busted up like him. You got um, you got Dylan Roof, you got Richard Spencer, and the list just goes on and on and on. And even the Bachelorette got a racist trying to date this black chick so he can come up and get some money. But you know, and, and that's the thing. Some of these, don't get fooled by some of these dudes uh, who you see that date black women because some of these dudes, they, 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 ain't got no, they ain't got no problem laying up in bed with a black woman and rolling out of that bed and practicing racism. So don't get fooled by the ones that are like that. Not all of them are like that, but Many of them ain't got no problem. They, 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 they've, been, they've been doing it for centuries. Now, so y'all know that this is not a coincidence. It's not by happenstance. This is designed. This is, this is in the wake of Barack Obama appearing to become the Democratic nominee for president. This started. It started, it started, it started, it started gaining momentum. They was just started just outright calling this man all kind of names, talking about attacking his family, saying he wasn't American, all kind of things that they had never before did to a presidential nominee, a presidential candidate. They had never done that. And then once he got in office, Boy, they really started rearing their head, especially in the law, in law enforcement. See, in law enforcement, they started killing more black people and beating people, disrespecting people, violating their rights as payback for Obama being in office. For them, that's, that was their little way to hold on to the little bit of so-called power in their little pissy brains. You know what? You can be a basketball star, you can be a rapper, you can be a congressman, a mayor, a senator, you can own a big business, hell, you can even buy a part of a basketball team, but no way possible you're going to be number one. We can't make you number one. I'm not going to get my instructions from, them, from some nigger. That's what it was all about. And then when Donald Trump started running, he made it way worse because he made it cool to attack people who didn't look like you, who didn't think like you, who didn't vote like you. He made it cool. And not once during his run for president did he denounce 
any of the thuggery that was going on at his rallies. In fact, he encouraged it. He even said himself, I could shoot somebody in the middle of the street. And they would still vote for me. That's because they wanted somebody who could bring back that good old boy attitude and lifestyle that their great granddaddies was accustomed to and that the ones before them got to do and got away with. So, hate is on the rise in America. And the Southern um, Poverty Law Center actually said that since Donald Trump, in the three months that Donald Trump has been president, they have recorded over 1,372 bias incidents. That's more than any president in the history of America. It's no coincidence. See, hate produces hate. Donald Trump is hate. And he producing hate. And he letting people know. And I'm going to tell you another thing. And we're not on this right now, but sexual assaults are going up. It's not, it's not a coincidence when you let a person become president, when you allow a person to become president that's a misogynist, a person that, that has been accused of, of raping women and violating women sexually, when you let a person like that become president, what that does is that tell everybody else if it's good enough for the president, it's good, for, good enough for me. And trust you me, they're not going to go hard on sexual predators during no, any other time that he's in office. Sexual predators are going to have a field day in America while Donald Trump is in office. So, what I further do, here's the top 10 states with the most hate. Here they are. At number 10, Indiana. Indiana has 3.9 million, actually 3.9 hate groups per million people. The total number of hate groups is 26. Many of those hate groups operate in the good old city of Indianapolis. Yeah, nap time. Coming in at number nine, Missouri. Missouri has 3.9 hate groups per million people with a total of 24 hate groups. Like many uh, hate groups in the state, uh, in other states, Missouri is ripe with a whole bunch of racism. Number eight, Virginia. Virginia has 4.6 hate groups per million people. The number of hate groups totaled 39. Now, these, now keep in mind, people, these are just hate groups that's been reported. The number could be much higher. Now, Missouri's hate groups include six anti-Muslim hate groups and a number of anti-Semitic Christian groups. Coming in at number seven, Kentucky. Kentucky is where that Donald Trump supporter, the guy who voted for Donald Trump, the white guy who voted for Donald Trump, was uh, on CNN. He did conducted a uh, CNN conducted an interview with him and he said that Donald Trump played him. He feel like a fool for voting for Donald Trump. Now this guy and the people in his uh, region had never voted, hadn't voted for Repu hadn't voted Republican in decades, but they broke the code and voted for Donald Trump. Why would they do that? Because he was bringing the good old boy. They thought some kind of way that Donald Trump was going to make, uh, get them back to that good old boy way of doing things where they could just trample on other people's rights. And gimme, 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 because see this dude was on food stamps, Medicaid, and Medicare, and Trump is cutting all of that. But see, what he thought, he thought that Trump was going to like discriminate on who he was going to take funds away from. Trump don't give a damn about none of us. He gonna hit everybody. Only people gonna benefit from Donald Trump is 
billionaires. That's it. Billionaires and people that's worth a few hundred million. The rest of us, we on our own. But he said he felt like a fool. Donald Trump played him. No, sucker. You played yourself. Coming in at number six, Arkansas. Arkansas has 5.4 hate groups per million people. The number of hate groups total 16. The number of hate groups in Arkansas uh, operating in Arkansas fell to 22 in 2015 to, 2000, to uh, 2016. Um, Jonesboro-based anti-Muslim group ACT for America has a chapter there. Now, it's manufacturing jobs that were once pillars of the American white middle class are no longer. So what do they do? Like Shannon Sharp said, if you lose your job, if you downtrodden, if you can't make it, for some reason things ain't going like you want them to go, you blame other people. And when you blame other people, it's easier to hate other people and to attack other people. Whatever you do, don't blame yourself. Blame everybody but yourself for your own predicament. So that's how these hate groups are able to recruit. They go mainly to people, to the poor uh, whites who ain't got shit, and they sell them the dream that they can have something if they just hate these other people. Uh, they say the reason why they ain't got nothing is because of other people taking their jobs, taking their opportunities, taking their women. So these nutty fools, dummies, go out and throw their whole life away for some organization that really don't give a damn about them that's just using them, just like the Republicans use them, because the Republicans would be non-existent if not for all of these uh, uh, lower, uh, lower class white folks. Republican Party couldn't survive. They just couldn't survive. Because keep in mind, you know, the majority of people that got money in the Republican Party, they got money, 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 real money. And I'm, I'm saying we're not the majority of people. I'm talking about the majority of people that, that's got the real, real money. They're among the elite. Everybody else, damn near everybody else is poor. But they're the ones that go out and do all the dirty work for the Republicans and for all the hate groups. And like fools, they're the ones that throw their lives away and break up their families for this so-called cause, this confederate cause. So that's how it is. That's how I go with them. Just a bunch of idiots. Um, coming in at number five, uh, this is no surprise, Alabama. Alabama has 5.6 hate groups per million people. The number of hate groups total 27. Okay, coming in at number four, we have uh, Tennessee at 5.7 hate groups per million people. And they have a total of 38 hate groups. Uh, and uh, number three, Mississippi. The only surprise about Mississippi is that Mississippi is not, not number one. Mississippi has six hate groups per million people. The number of hate groups total 18. Number two starts to get really interesting. Idaho. Idaho, y'all. Yeah. Better stop thinking about potatoes when you think about Idaho. Start thinking about them damn idiots out there. They have 7.1 hate groups per million people with a total number of 12 hate groups. And drum roll, drum roll. I bet you, I bet you, y'all would never guess it. You damn near would have to live that to know that the hate is so heavy out there. No state has a higher concentration of active hate organizations than Montana. Yeah, Montana leads the whole nation in hate with a total of 9.6 known active hate groups for every 1 million state residents.
You know what this tells me? What's really telling is that these states that have all of these hate groups, it tells me that they're tolerant. They have a high tolerance for hate groups. It tells me that they are co-signing the hate. Because just like America did when they went in and wiped out the Black Panthers and they destroyed neighborhoods that they didn't like, they didn't agree with the message from the leaders in those communities, just like they got rid of them, they could get rid of every single hate group in America. They could wipe them out overnight, but they won't. You know why? Because they like it. They love it, they co-signed it, and they're part of the problem. Many people that are in American government are part of hate groups. Many people that work in law enforcement are part of these hate groups. That's why the hate groups are thriving. That's why so many members of hate groups are emboldened when it comes to violating people of color or Jewish people or homosexual. That is because they're getting their orders from the top and if anything, they may get a slap on the wrist. Every now and then they do something so atrocious that action has to be taken. Some type of action has to be taken or lives on their side are gonna be lost. So. Every now and then, they'll sacrifice one for the greater of the group. So this is why, this is why you can't stop the hate organizations. And this is why the militias and all these other hate organizations, they're so brave because they know they got members in their, within their organization that are shares deputies, governors, senators, mayors. They are the rich and the powerful. They're judges. And they know if something go down, they're gonna be taken care of. So when you're dealing with these people, you gotta go in on them with no remorse. Stop thinking that the law is going to protect you. You're on your own out here. The law is not going to protect you. You're on your own. You have to look out for yourself. You have to look out for yourself. It ain't going to happen. They all in the same game. Yeah, so that's what's going on, man. It's sad, but that's the country we live in. And the, you know, I'm going to tell you the cool thing about the internet is the internet is helping us expose uh, America for who she is. I mean, we just basically just lifting up that veil. Now that justice is blind, hell no. No, man. See, what if, if justice is blind, then the internet has given us some glasses. Because I'm going to tell you, uh, it ain't what you think. All you foreigners that's sitting up here watching this video, it ain't what you think. And it's a whole lot of foreigners out here that are walking on eggshells. You know what I'm saying? You know, you 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 want to uh, you want to deal with these people. You got to deal with them direct, and you got to be brutal with them because they don't understand nothing else. America, and that's the thing about America. Period. America don't understand nothing but uh, but bloodshed and money. That's all America is. That's all really. At the end of the day, that's really all America is about. Everything else is fake. All of this, the only time we come together is when there's a crisis. That's the only time we come together. And then right out there, it's so, over, boom, we right back to that hate. Well, we get to that hate, we love that hate, we get to that hate real fast, real quick. We come together when there's a crisis, we come together when there's uh, sports, we come together for sports, we come together for concerts. 
We come together for things like that, entertainment purposes. But after we can't, we, we're no longer entertained, then we go back, that's right, man, I'm supposed to hate his ass. Got to get back to my hate. Got to get back to the hate. We love the hate in America, man. Woo, man, America loves some hate. Loves some hate. Tonight, the NBA Finals start. And I can guarantee you, the whole city of Cleveland, every single resident, a damn near every resident, white resident, black resident, Hispanic, whatever, they all gonna be cheering for Cleveland Cavaliers. They're gonna be cheering for LeBron to do great. They're gonna be cheering their asses off. They're gonna be hoping and praying that he don't get injured. But you see, they had no problem, and, and they, they didn't have a problem with him being called uh, a, with the with the uh, with the people graffiti in the word nigga on his home. They didn't have a problem with that. They just don't want it to affect his game. And they're not going to have a problem with LeBron being injured or any of those other black players being gunned down. You know, after the series is over. Same thing with um, Golden State. Everybody, most people that's 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 from that area, um, the L.A. area, you know, up, up and around there, they're gonna be cheering. They're cheering for Golden State. But make no mistake, that's only why they're playing that game. And after it's over, they. They just back to being niggas and all this type of shit. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. Don't you shoot that ball, run that ball, throw that ball, catch that ball, make that tackle, block. You good. But when you step out of that element, and I don't give a damn what it is, you just another nigga. Even if you living in a neighborhood and you live in a $20 million house and you're dealing with the security guard who don't make more than $30,000 a year. They're going to steal and he's supposed to be, his description is supposed to be to protect you and wash your house and stuff. And they're going to still treat him better than they treat you. That's how it is, man. They're gonna still look at you. They're gonna, because this is a certain segment of America that's gonna always be the way they are. Ain't nothing gonna change it. Because, again, leadership starts at the top, and the people at the top in America, they're evil. They're racist. And they good with the racism that go on in America. They good with it being rampant in police departments all throughout America. It's not just those top cities. These are just the top 10 cities. It's every law enforcement in America, period. Every division, every department. Rampant with racism. This is what America is, man. Make no mistake about it. Everything else is fake. It's all fake. The town hall meetings, they're all fake. Ain't nothing gonna change. We can fight. You can have what you're gonna have. You're gonna have subtle. You're gonna have that subtle attacks. That's that's about the best it's gonna get. is subtle, but it's not going to change because evil people are in charge. And if somebody come in and try to do something good, they're gonna figure out a way to get rid of them. First, they're gonna try to discredit them, and if that don't work, they're gonna try to. Uh, well, first they're gonna try to get them to join their team. If that don't work, they're gonna try to discredit them. If they can't discredit them, then they're going to try to break them. They're going to try to financially bankrupt them. If that don't work, then they're going to go in for the kill. That's the name of the game. Welcome to America. The only thing that I'm surprised, I'm su the, the, and here's the states that I'm surprised that were not on the list, in the top 10. The Carolinas, racist ass states. Racist, super racist. North Carolina, South Carolina, super, super super racist. Surprised they're not on the list at the top. Illinois, 
surprise. Uh, New York City, not just New York City, New York, New York, California, Ohio, Texas, Florida, racist ass states. Racist, racist, racist. Rampant racism. Starting in law enforcement. All throughout law enforcement, all throughout the judicial system. Racist, racist, racist. And that's why you got this, that, that disproportionate number of black and brown males being in prison because they're going in to lock us up. They wake up trying to figure out how they can lock us up, how they can do us in. And when one of us get killed, hey man, in their mind, somebody just, just did them a favor. That's the way they look at it. Racist ass states, all of them. But America as a whole is a racist ass country. And it's going backwards, not forward. And some of the people out there that are racist, they think somehow that if they can just be racist and they can be hateful, that somehow they're winning. But the minute, you know how it is, it's an old saying, you know, give them a taste of their own medicine. That's when shit get real. So that's when, so soon, so, you know, I'm gonna tell you like this. Other people have already shown that they had a propensity to, to be dangerous. All they gotta do is channel it in the right direction, and it's a wrap. No, y'all don't like that, huh? But that's the truth. See, you don't win uh, a war by being scary. You can be scared, but you can't be scary. It's a big difference. See, you can be scared. That's all that means that, man, I'm, you know, I'm scared of this situation, whatever, but I'm going forward. I got the courage to still go into battle. So, all that praying, some of y'all gonna sit around, y'all, some of y'all praying, y'all think that's gonna work. Hey, if it make you feel good, pray on, man, pray on. But, it's an old saying. We did a song with Gangsta Nip and Seagram way back in like 1990 called Action Speaks Louder Than Words. Man, look it up. Learn the words. Become familiar with it. But in terms of racism in America, ain't nothing gonna change. And you can't fight it. You can't fight it by trying to ignore it. You can't fight it by not talking about it. You can't fight it by not uh, engaging. You can't fight it by ignoring it because you turn and you try to ignore it. Somebody gonna come up behind you and, and pop you in the head. So you gotta handle it full throttle, head up, straight on. And trust you me, when it start happening to them, them and they family start crying and feeling the pain, that's when shit start changing. Because the only reason why America ain't over there fucking with China, because they know what China will do. And China ain't playing. That is the only reason, because America is a bully. America bully everybody. And the only reason they ain't messing with China, because they know what China will do to them. So, you want these hate groups to start fucking with you? Let them know what you'll do to them. Real talk. Now, those other states like Texas, and Ohio, New York, California, uh, Illinois, the Carolinas. They didn't make the top 10 list, but they're rampant. They're ripe with racism. But I guess they didn't really want to participate in the collecting of the data because they just don't want to admit that law enforcement in America is also a hate group. No more talk. What, what the hate is talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.